What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. This is Ready to Love Reunion Part 2, Season 6. So, we pick up where we left off with Sharice and, um, what's her name? Katie and arguing. Look, they just don't like each other. I don't know what the issue is. I think it's deeper than what we know. You know, we know that they were hanging out outside of the show. They were friends outside of the show. Something just went down. And the two of them just, they ain't cool. You know, Katie and threatened to slap her. Sharice jumped up. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, Kayla got in and she had her old, she had her whole, can't we all just get along moment. You know, we are powerful black women. We need to show the world that we are powerful black women. Like, it was a whole... Kayla had a whole moment, right? She was crying and everything. But ultimately, like I said, I just think the two of them just don't like each other. I don't know why. We'll probably never really know the whole story, but something happened that we're not privy to. I don't know. Um, then we had Justice's package. Listen. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what Justice's issue is. But Justice, he decided he wasn't going to pursue these women he wasn't going to spend no money, even though it wasn't even his money. It was the network's money. Like, the network pays for the dates. Justice, like, you sitting here, I'm not going to spend money to get to know these women. You didn't have to. Ready to love pays for the dates, sir. So all of that was just bullshit. You was on some old bullshit. And then him and Looney seemed to have a connection, but it seems like they weren't talking after the show. Um, Looney actually got up from the stage and walked off while they were talking. I guess she was so upset, child. I don't know. Later on, we see the two of them talking. And, you know, he said that he had a connection with her. And he really liked her. But he was trying to wait for all of this to be over. So, I guess he was trying to wait for the show to be over. But it it wasn't necessary. Like, if you had been eliminated and Looney had been eliminated, like, your only obligation to the show after that is the reunion. Like, I know that they're not supposed to post on Instagram and stuff like that. But you could be dating and spending time together without other people knowing the fact that you ghosted Looney, it sounds like you ghosted Looney and then Looney blocked your ass. Because he was like, well, can you unblock me now? Let's hang out. Let's be friends. So, I don't know. I still think Justice is full of shit. Moving on. Then we had Sharice and Sampson. Shout. I understood. Listen, the whole season, I didn't get what, what Sharice was saying. But I did get it now. I understood. What Sharice was saying was, you're doing the same thing with everybody. You're doing the same thing with everybody. How do I know that I am different? I need you to show me that I am different. He couldn't get that because he was giving gifts to everybody. He was running the same line with everybody. And so she was like, he said, yeah, but, you know, everybody knew that you were my number one. Like everybody knew. She said, but I didn't know. I didn't feel special. I didn't feel like you were giving me anything different than what you were giving the other ladies. And that's what I kept telling you I needed. I needed the reassurance that I was your number one. And I understood that because she really wasn't dealing with anybody else. So I understood what she was saying. Samson was like, well, I, you know, you were too busy focused on what everybody else was saying. I wasn't focused on what everybody else was saying because, I mean, you was getting into altercations with everybody and people, you know, you was being shady and people didn't like you. Like, if I was paying attention to everybody, I would, um, we wouldn't even, you know, it wouldn't have been no thing. Like, you would have been eliminated weeks ago. And I understood his point on that, too, to say, listen, you know we're in a process. You know we have to date other people. You know we have to spend time with other people. Stop focusing on that and focus on what it is that we're doing. He was like... You were getting the, who was the last person I was talking to at night on the phone? Who was the first person I was calling in the morning? Like, you were that person for me. But I understood Sharice saying, listen, but I needed to know it. And I told you I needed to know it. And for whatever reason, you couldn't let me know it. But I understood where she was coming from. Um, child, then we find out that Samson got a whole girlfriend. And of course, that threw everybody off because everybody was like, well, damn. You got a whole girlfriend. The show just, like, is this somebody you were already seeing? And he was like, it's somebody that he was friends with, but it wasn't somebody he was already seeing. And I was like, mm-hmm. Okay. So then we have Katie and Swayze. Listen, I'm going to just go ahead and tell y'all what I think the two of them. I think the day, I think it's an unhealthy codependency with the two of them. He said that he knew she was the one after, basically, she got him kicked off the show 
he texted, she texted him. And he was like, well, that's how I knew. That's how I knew she really cared about me. What? Okay. And I feel like Kadian was doing a lot to let everybody know that that was her man to stake her claim. You know, she kept laying on him. She kept touching him. You know, I don't know. That's how it played to me. It played to me like you were doing a lot. You were doing extra. You were doing too much. You were kind of going above and beyond. That's how it was playing to me. I can't say what it really was, but that's how it was playing to me. But the two of them are together, child, which we know because they've been posting all season, even though they weren't supposed to be. They've been posting all season. Child, then we got Randall in this. It ain't even a love triangle. It's a square. It's Randall, Kayla, Trinika, and Jamika. Now, Trinika said, you could take me out of it. Like, I'm not, I'm not in this. But to make a long story short, Randall and Jamika are not working out. They're trying to make it happen. I'm going to be honest and tell you that I think it was the, the house. The way she acted at the house, I think, really turned him off, and he couldn't get past it. And again, unlike Samson, he was like, you knew you were my number one. Like, you knew you were my number one. Like, I don't know what else I needed to say to you to convince you that you were my number one. Um, but they are they are seeing other people. And come to find out, child, he is seeing Kayla. Now, I think Janika, I mean, I think Jamika was fine knowing that he was dating other people. I think it bothered her that she was that he was dating her, Kayla. Kayla, girl, do better. Kayla, do better. You are nobody's second place. You are nobody's consolation prize. Like, if he wanted you, he would have chose you from the beginning. Period. Um. Don't. All I'm gonna say is don't act like you won. That's all I'm gonna say is don't act like you won, child. Last but not least, Mike and Brandy, child, they together, together. They together, together, okay? So out of this season, we walked away with two couples and a possible. Because maybe Randall, Kayla, maybe. We know that LJ is dating a couple of people, that, so they're having a good time. Um... It'll be interesting to see what ends up happening. I couldn't even get y'all 10 minutes out of this reunion, child. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.